Leo, and welcome to your March 2021 general reading. This is for those that are born July 23rd to August 22nd. And honestly, July and August sound really good right now because where I live, we are getting ready for um, winter storm morning number three in a row. So I am cleansing your decks that I'll be using. A lot of smoke. Whew. All right. Let's see what we got going on for you, Leo, for March 2021. I hope y'all are doing well. Again, aside from the weather, I am fine and enjoying. I, I love reading for you all. Um, I really appreciate you being here. I appreciate your like, share, and subscribes. Woo! What a beautiful Ace of Pentacles. You're owning that one. Um, I appreciate your like, share, and subscribes. I really appreciate your um, um, trust in listening to my readings. And uh, I would love to hear how they resonate with you. Again, they're general readings, so they won't resonate with every one of you. But I would like to hear how they do resonate with you. And how this fits in your life. It really does help me connect. And know that I am making a connection. Because um, I feel the connection. And it helps to validate that there is somebody out there listening. <laughs> so I really appreciate it. Alright. Let's see what we've got going on. Alright. And two more for you. This deck always makes me smile. It gives very good, accurate readings. Um, but I just think it's the cutest thing, and it does make me smile. So, And it's so bright. The colors are so bright in it. You have the Knight of Swords in Reverse. Um, at the bottom of your deck for your um, energies and um, the undercurrent of your energy. So this just tells me that um, there's movement. There's something that you want to move forward to, but it's in reverse. So there's going to be a slight delay in it. Again, you have um, the swords is an air sign. You have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And... Um, there could be, you know, there's a delay in that thoughts that you have coming in, the new thoughts you have coming in, or the thoughts you want to go after, so to speak. All right. Let's pull a soul card for you. That was my dog. Excuse him. <laughs> he just ate. Excuse you, Ozzy. He's... He's a great name. Need I say more? All right. And doesn't have manners. <laughs> so this is a card of... I always liken in this one. Again, there is no um, book that goes with this. So there's no guidance. Fix my sleeves. There you go. Um, whatever resonates with you, it, it talks to your soul. So I'd love to know what you think or you see through this card. I always see enlightenment. I always see clear seeing in this card. You're being guided. You're being enlightened and you're being shown. It's kind of like the moon card. You're being shown clarity for a situation. Um, you, you still may want to stay hidden, but the clarity, you're seeing the clarity. You're, you're, you're feeling, um, the clarity you're feeling more comfortable about coming out um, and in um, in auth authenticity of yourself also, but you're kind of seeing how others will perceive you or seeing you're testing the waters is what I feel like you're 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 feeling what it's or seeing what it's going to be like um, when you're ready to to fully be seen. All right. We have the Ace of Pentacles as your foundation card, or not your foundation, as um, um, 
the main part of the reading. So you have new money coming in. It could be a new job offer. It could be a new way to make money. It could be a new um, proposal of partnership for um, money. Uh, however, it's, it's money coming in. It can be um, slower energy. So you may... kind of be um, prepared not to have this take off very fast. It could be a slow, could be a slow um, money coming in, a slow, steady income of new money coming in. could be a side job where it's going to be slow and steady money coming in. And you have, what crosses that is the five of wands and it's in reverse. So there, there could possibly have been some chaos and conflict, um, some um practice too i always see this card as practice like um how knights would get together and um you know put on all their armor and pretend to fight but they don't really fight fight um they practice everything practices and i see this as whatever you've been uh trying to um to bring forth in your money you've You've put a lot of practice in it. You've put a lot of trial and error in it. And five is always a card of change. So you're ready for this change to take place. The undercurrent energy or the foundation cards is a six of cups. This could be... Um, Someone from your past that has come back into your life or had to come back into your life that maybe caused this change to happen. Um, it is also um, in reverse. So it could be um, what what caused the change to happen is that um, not wanting a certain person to come back into your life. You're totally changing things up. So, you know, this past relationship will not remanifest into your life. You're done with it. Uh, being in reverse, that could that could be why um, the new money is coming in and the change and um, the practicing or the the five of wands is also a card of chaos and conflict, but it's in reverse. So it could have been in the past there was chaos and conflict that um, is holding the change. You know, since it's in reverse, it's allowing the change to happen now. Where maybe as in the past it wasn't. So you have um, the past energy, you have the seven of pentacles in reverse. So this is kind of being impatient for things to take foot and to take hold and to grow. And, you know, if we plant a seed, we have to wait. And this is a card of um, starting to get your harvest and starting to get your fruits of your labor that you put in. But again, it's a pentacle. So in the past energy, it's, you know, not moving as fast as you like it to, um, that I think, you know, whatever the situation is or this new money coming in, um, this uh, project or this um, whatever you have put your roots down to grow, you're seeing now. You're seeing how how everything works, how everything is intermingled in life. You, you really, you, you've... With it being pentacles, you've had that luxury of time to kind of sit back and know that, you know, you could put something out there and you want it to happen yesterday, but it's not exactly up to you. You know, you can only do so much. And nature has to take its course. The universe has to take its course. You have the present energy coming in and it's the devil. So this is a card of Capricorn. This is a card of um, control, of either controlling something or being controlled. It's a card. It could be a card of addiction. It could be a card of, um, I see it too as like, if you're sober, clean and sober for months or years, it could be falling off the wagon. It could have something to do with somebody you know that has, you know, um, have addiction issues that... Um, 
and it, and it could be drugs, could be alcohol, could be lust, it could be greed, it could be glut, you know, you name all the seven deadly sins and that's pretty much the devil. Um, it's also being upright. It's also a card of allowing it. Um, I, I liken that too, if there's, uh, not that there is, but just if there was abuse of some sort in a family and you knew about it and you allowed it to happen in a sense, you know, that, that sense so that could have happened to you. Um, or it could be prevalent in the reading as in, um, again, coming from the past into the future where your, uh, this past where maybe you couldn't, maybe whatever you put into fruition was, you know, whoever you're with, whatever partner or, or this other person, or it could be even your, your thoughts got the better of you and, you know, not good enough. And, and, you know, all the negative thoughts in, in your head. Um, but again, it's not being in control and something you do want to gain is control of yourself um, and situations around you. So if you have been in control and if you, you know, if you're like had currently suffered from any type of addiction, you need to be very careful in the present that those, um, the old feelings don't creep up. And that could be where the conflict comes in. That could be where the struggle comes in too. Don't let those, um, don't let those feelings of low self-esteem and not being good enough and all those lies come back into play because it's like you've conquered them and you really need to, um, you really need to continue to, to, to know that you've conquered them. You know, this, this new money coming in, this new pinnacle you know, you don't want it to come with a price. If this is somebody other significant in your life that is holding control over you or holding you as hostage in a sense, you know, that it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So, you know, you need to um, see whatever, see what the devil card is referring to in reference with you and um, not relinquishing your control to anybody. That's, that's what I keep hearing. Don't relinquish your control to anybody. You need to control you. You need to have control over yourself. So we have our future energy coming in and we have the page of cups. So we have a new love possibly coming in and we have a new prospect of love coming in. We have somebody that may be offering you, um, some type of emotional stability that maybe you did not have, um, in the past energies coming in. I keep getting this person from the past too. Being in reverse that you did not need to let them back into your life. So you need to be very, sorry, you need to be very careful that that's not, um, know that the leper won't change its spots. And again, these readings, read the energy um, as projected if nothing changes. So that's why I like to give these readings is one of the reasons is that if you know this person may be coming back or if this person is right back now and they're, they're telling you, oh, everything will change and I've done this and I've done that. No, with this reading here, as it is stands right now, if you go with this person, there's a really good chance that their true self will show. And it would be better to let them go, you know, even if it's something that you've cultivated and, and tried to grow, you know, with them. It's best to cut your losses and move ahead. Where in the future you have um, Page of Cups coming in and it is, um, it's a water sign. So you have Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer possibly coming in, offering you um, emotional stability, emotional um, tie some type of, um, emotional, um, 
gift, you know, be it a, uh, a new romance or a new close friendship. The energy around you is the three of cups. So you or your energy, it's not around you, but your energy is, you know, you really want to get together with friends. You want to celebrate. You want to go and do. You don't want to be held, you know, hostage, so to speak. You want to really be your own person. And again, that goes in contrast with letting this go. So if this person has come back in your life and is playing mind games with you or trying to control you again, you really, you know, need to still remember that you are your own person. Know that this, you know, this could be the past. This could be why you're hiding. And now you're seeing why you're back here. And you're ready, you know, with the Three of Cups, you're ready to start coming out and, and saying, hey world, here I am. You have the energy around you is the Five of Cups. And it is, uh, again, a, a card of change, but it's the energy around you is going back to these thoughts. You're going back to what no longer serves you instead of seeing what you do have that is viable. I look at this as something, you know, that is no longer. And you have to see... You know, what is your choice? What are you going to choose? And the energy around you, which could still come from this um, control or this past relationship, the energy around you is um, is one of nostalgia, is one of re-remembering the past, one of um, not where you're going in the future, but, oh, this is how I got here. This is what happened. Replaying it over and over in your head. But you have got to remember that the main foundation of the reading is Ace of Pentacles. So you have new money coming in. You have a new business venture. You have a new uh, side job, a new way to make money. You're proud of this. You're holding it up like a trophy. You've earned this. And this conflict is something that you need to address and let go of and I think that comes again with the devil I think he brings all that or this past person brings all that but it makes you um it makes you re-remember and this person could be going like oh remember when we did this and remember when we did that and you're stuck in this Remembering what no longer serves you instead of turning around and seeing what serves you. This is the energy around you. Again, you know it's coming. You have time to change it. Your hopes and fears are... That is your future. Hopes and fears are... Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords upright um, can be your thoughts getting the better of you. Um, it can also be deception where somebody's taking something that doesn't belong to them. Somebody's putting thoughts in your head for you, but it's in reverse. So this is your hope. Your hope is that when these thoughts start creeping back in, that you can turn them away, that you can, um, you know, tell your mind, uh, no, this is a rerun. I'm not going to replay this again. Um, I've seen it. I don't like the way it ends or I, I know the ending too well and be done with it. And just like a movie, turn it off. You're in control of your thoughts. And the final outcome card is the Ace of Swords. So, not only do you have new money coming in, but you have new thoughts about um, something you want to create, something you want to move toward. Whatever this Knight of Swords energy, where you have, you know, you're ready to charge forward in uh, a, a scenario you're creating you're you're ready to really get serious and know that it's going to take shape and take form um swords are um air energy gemini libra aquarius so you do have um and this is a card of libra so you do have that um the energy of new thoughts coming in new ideas and they're all positive so this tells me that, you know, this devil energy, this Capricorn energy can go by the wayside as far as you're concerned. That 
you know, in your present, you might be going through that soon in your present, but you're not going to be giving it much thought. You're really not going to hold too much to it. I think this um, new um, love interest or this new person coming in that could be a, a friendship even is going to um, take your mind off of things, so to speak. It'll be a good distraction for you. And I think in the distraction part of it, you'll see, you'll really, um, you'll really understand, you're, you're really going to see this past relationship or past energy, how uh, destructive they are to you and how you have to let them go. All right, I'm going to pull health cards for you. You're the magician. So you have a, anything you want to manifest, you can manifest. Health-wise, um, to me, that tells me that, again, I think you you have control. Um, or as far as you're concerned, you have good control over your health. Um, that you're the creator of your own health, you know, in order to eat right or be healthy, you have to eat right, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Um, the Magician is also a card of Virgo or Gemini, if that means anything to you. Let's do a clarifying card here for the Magician. So the Magician creates, um, and it just, I feel that, Leo, you know, you, you are a lot about how you look and how you feel. So I think... Um, and you're very, and there's nothing wrong with it. You're very proud of how you look and feel because you work hard at it. And I think that's part of the magician. You work hard and you know what you have to do in order to look or feel a certain way. You're not afraid to, um, put forth the work or the effort that you need to, to do that in order to look a certain way. And this says repair. So, um, Again, um, it could be plastic surgery that you're going for or you're wanting to do. Uh, you know, again, what you need to do in order for you to feel and look your best. This is a card of, um, this is comfrey. So it's a card of comfort. Um, this could be where, um, you know, if you're not feeling good, you need to take time out for yourself. You need to do what you need to do to make yourself the best self you can be. So this card says, this is a time of bringing together more than one element to seek improvement. You might not have all the pieces, resources, or information you require at the moment, so keep looking, exploring, and collecting. If you take more notice of the past and the lessons shown to you, then success and a breakthrough could come a little more quickly. Now will come the completion of a project or situation and the end of a cycle. If you want to start something new or change in any way, you should be able to shortly. You are free to go in any direction you please. So again, that's that's just telling you, um, again, you know what you want. You know which direction you want to go in. And you're the magician and you can manifest anything. And you are very, um, again, proud of how you look. In particular, you put a lot of hard work into you. And as we all should. So we'll pull one more card. It's a good reading, Leo. All right. I'm gonna get one card here. It's Wisdom of the Oracle and Soulmates. Ah, Soulmates. I wonder. I wonder. Soulmates. Could be that new friend coming in. Could be somebody you meet taking better care of yourself. Somebody you meet at the gym, possibly. Let's see. 41. It says... Um, you are meant to evolve and transform with the companionship of others. Certain people enter into your life in order to take you to the next level of healing, consciousness, and authenticity. 
It is always a reciprocal experience, although the results for each of you will vary. You know these people by the strong pull drawing you toward them, and sometimes by a strong aversion toward them initially, too. Soulmate, soulmates can be friends for life or remain in your life for only a short time. No matter what, you will be changed in ways you can't possibly fathom now. Pay attention to these people today. They are your greatest gifts. So that's a good reading, Leo. I think it's a very good reading. I would like to hear how this resonates with you. And how this new money coming in, um, how that affects you and, and what it might be, what project it might be that you're on. Um, you can like, share, and subscribe. Any information you need is in the description. Personal private readings, how you can get in touch with me, etc. And the decks I use, the cards I use. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your trust. And thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. And until next time, bye for now.